This session shall look at how we calculate material variances. Now the first type of material variance is our direct material cost variance and that's going to be the difference between the standard amount um, that we should incur in materials cost for actual output and the amount that we actually incurred. Now when we look at variances, there are, they come in two types, either favourable or adverse. Favourable variances, well these occur when our actual cost is lower than the standard cost. And this can be because the efficiency with which we use our materials are high, is higher than the standard efficiency, or the price that we're paying for our materials is lower than the standard price. Conversely, adverse variances, these are when our actual costs are higher than the standard costs. And again, this might be because our um, efficiency, the efficiency with which we use our materials, is lower than the standard efficiency, or the amount that we're paying for our materials is higher than the standard. So let's have a look at um, an illustration of how we calculate this material cost variance. So last month the company made a thousand units and we had uh, direct material costs of £3,460. Now the standard direct material cost of producing one unit is £3.90. So what we do, we calculate the standard materials cost. This is going to be a thousand units at £3.90 each. That gives us a total cost of 3900 and we compare that against the actual cost of 3460 Well, we get a direct materials cost variance of £440, the difference between those two amounts. And as our actual cost is lower than the standard cost, we can say that we've got a favourable variance. What we're now going to look at are materials price variances and materials usage variances. So what are they? Well, when we look at that material cost variance, we can split it into two parts. First of all, we can uh, look at the variance that's caused by um, a business paying different amounts for the materials that it's purchased, so different amounts per quantity of material. This variance is going to be called the materials price variance, and we can also um, calculate the variance that's caused by the amount or quantity of materials that have been used to produce the units and that's known as the materials usage variance. So how do we calculate our material variances? Well previously we saw how we calculated our material cost variance. This is the difference between the standard cost of material for actual production and the actual materials cost incurred. In order to split that materials cost variance into two uh, further variances, we've got to calculate a, another number. And that's the actual materials that we've used at the standard price for the material. Then we can compare our top two numbers. That's the uh, amount we should have spent on materials for actual um, output and we compare that with the actual materials used at the standard price. The difference between those two numbers is our materials usage variance. Then we compare the actual materials used at the standard price with the actual materials cost. And the difference there gives us our materials price variance. So let's have a look at an illustration of how we calculate our price and usage variances. 
So here's our scenario. We've got a production uh, materials budget um, as follows and I've also put how um, the business actually performed next to it. So originally we budgeted to make 10,000 units. We actually made 9,500 units. We would budgeted to use 5,000 kilograms of material. We actually used 4,700 kilograms. Um, and we budgeted that our materials would cost £12,500 and they actually um, cost us £12,220. So the first thing we do, we calculate what our materials should have cost for 9,500 units. Well, we know from our budgeted figures that 10,000 units should have cost £12,500. So we can then calculate how much 9,500 units should have cost. So I'll take those £12,500 of costs, divide them by 10,000 units, that gives me my cost per unit, my standard cost per unit, and I'll multiply that by 9,500 units. So my 9,500 units should have cost £11,875. At this stage I can now calculate what my materials cost variance is um, because that's the difference between what my 9,500 units should have cost £11,875 and the amount it did cost 12220 well there we can see that clearly my actual cost was higher than the standard cost. So the difference of £345 is an adverse variance. Secondly, I'm going to look at how much the actual materials that I've bought and used should have cost. So in order to do this I've got to go back to my budgeted figures that will provide me with my standard costs and calculate um, what the standard rate per kilogram of material was. Well, this is going to be my budgeted materials cost divided by the budgeted kilograms that I've bought and used, or £12,500 divided by 5,000 kilograms. That works out at £2.50 per kilogram. Now my actual kilograms at the standard rate per kilogram, that's going to be the 4,700 kilograms that I've actually bought and used at £2.50 per kilogram. That gives me a total of 11,750. And now that I've calculated that, I'm now able to calculate both my materials usage variance and my materials price variance. I've now got three numbers. I've got the amount that my materials should have cost me for 9,500 units. That's my um, figure from step one of 11,875. I've also calculated how much the actual materials that I bought and used should have cost. Uh, from, that's from step two of £11,750. And lastly, I've got the actual materials cost incurred. This was uh, given to me in my data of £12,220. As we've mentioned previously, um, the difference between the standard cost for 9,500 units and the actual cost is my materials cost variance and that was £345 and it was an adverse variance. Well next I can calculate my materials usage variance and this is going to be the difference between my standard cost for 9,500 units and the actual materials used at the standard materials price of £11,750. That gives a difference of £125 and this variance is favourable because I've used slightly less um, materials than I'd actually expected to use. Next I can calculate my materials price variance. 
This is the difference between the actual materials bought and used of 11,750 and the actual materials cost of 12,220 pounds. There we have a difference of 470 pounds and it's an adverse variance as the actual materials cost is higher than the materials that I've bought and used at the standard materials price. So I must have paid at a higher price per kilogram for these materials than I'd expected to. The final thing to note is that um, if I look at my materials usage variance and add that onto my materials price variance, I end up with the same figure as my materials cost variance. Now this isn't surprising because all I'm doing is I'm taking that materials cost variance and splitting it into two elements. So that's how we calculate our materials variances.